We've been looking and looking for this uh, skip for a couple weeks now. And we got information on his uh, Facebook account. And on his Facebook account is a picture of a motorcycle that we didn't know that he had. We were able to get the uh, TLR ran by the finance company on it. And they got us a new address. There's the black motorcycle sitting right there. Almost in the exact same spot as the picture. But we're not after the motorcycle, we're after a 2008 gray VW Jetta. We've got a two car garage, so we're gonna go knock on the door and see if he's home. Garage is empty. Back by tonight to see what's parked here. All right, we got this Honda we've been trying to repossess now for a day or two, and the kid isn't living at home. He's staying with a girlfriend. He stops by the house to get clothes every couple days. It just happens to be up the street from my house, so I've been able to keep a close eye on it. We're just heading out for an evening run. Got some good stuff to get on video tonight, but as luck would have it, this is the third time we've repossessed this Honda from almost the exact same spot. What we're gonna watch for is make sure he doesn't come running out. Jump in it.
people peeking out of the window there. Just decided not to come out and make any kind of contact with us, so I'll leave it at that. No contact's okay with me. I got a lot going on tonight. Third time he's had it repossessed. And uh, we didn't get keys the other two times either. So we'll get this transported. We've got a new skip address on that, where that black motorcycle was at earlier. I'm talking with a kid on Facebook that I know that is a mutual friend with a girlfriend. I guess she's been driving it. According to the information he has, she just had a baby. And he confirmed that's the address where the car's at. I think we're going to run into theirs. That garage. Empty. Most likely where they're keeping the car. After I pull up and it's just parked out front. It'd be amazing. But we're seeing crazier. And we've got that uh, Nissan Xterra that's back up for repo. Bankruptcy just got discharged. She actually included my company as one of the uh, creditors in her bankruptcy, so we got a notice of the bankruptcy dismissed yesterday. Wasn't too surprised when we saw the order of repossession come over today for the finance company telling us that BK had been dismissed and they wanted us to go get the Xterra again. We went to the address we had picked it up from last time, which was during a night repo, and uh, talked to the neighbor. He said that she moved three months ago, was living in some apartments just west of there which matched the new given address we had, which also happens to be the same exact apartment complex where we just recently picked up an 08 white or cream color Endeavor all-wheel drive, had to use the dollies, had a guy that parked, blocked us in accidentally. We asked him if he had moved, he moved his truck, we were able to pull out. Exact same complex, almost the exact same parking garage cover right there, where we're hoping to see our silver Xterra she should be home from work about now, so this was the first address to stop by. We got lucky, we caught him at home with mom's address. It's the only address we had. We know he's been staying at his girlfriend's at night. Dick wasn't there last night, wasn't there yesterday during the day. Been watching him vigilantly, and boom, caught him at home doing laundry, picking up clean clothes. He was peeking out the window, knew there was nothing he could do. We'd got him good. He didn't even come out and make contact. I don't even think he speaks English from what I understand, so he's probably nervous to come out and make contact, which is fine. That's why I didn't push the issue about knocking on the door and asking for a key. You know what? I looked inside the vehicle. There's almost no property inside of it, so. Get this transported and get the rest of our night on video. Good start, though. Good start. Okay, so I've been Facebooking back and forth for the last couple hours with a buddy of mine that actually uh, I trained to do repos on some time ago, and we got a couple videos with him in it. Uh, back when I had my camera system, he was a rookie and I was training him how to run the camera system and just the basics on uh, doing recovery work. Anyways, he uh, turns out to be a mutual friend with the girlfriend of this debtor that we were after for this 2008 Silver Jetta. And turns out that he knows a girl that knows her. And uh, he Facebooked with her or texted with her, I'm not sure which. And she disclosed that they just had a baby and that this girlfriend has been working from home. That's why we didn't find her the vehicle. Look at that, the garage is open. And a Hyundai is in the garage. His motorcycle's gone too. Well, that didn't work out like expected. 
emergency because the friend said that she knew she was driving a gray car, which we assume was probably our gray Jetta. But there is a gray Hyundai in the driveway, actually in the garage. And there's a guy pulling into the garage on a bicycle. Dude's motorcycle is gone. He's probably out on a ride. So we're gonna pull up here and we're gonna get some information about who is who. Let's see if we can talk to this guy right here. How you doing? Good. Hey, you know drives a black motorcycle? Uh, yeah. Is he home right now? I know no. some bikes out here. Okay. No, he left. Uh, an hour or so ago. Okay. Are you related to him? Uh, or is he just like rooming with you? Okay. Um, well, his girlfriend, uh, we're trying, is she here right now? Okay. We're trying to actually get in contact with her. Um, do you know it would be a good time I could come by and give her some paperwork? Expect her home like after seven, after eight. Let's see. It's actually almost eight now. They're here off and on. Off and on? Okay. Okay. Well, I got to go run to the address in Lehigh, so maybe on my way back, I'll come by and see if I can get a hold of her. Okay. How will I know when she's here? You know? Here. What is it? Huh? You know that she's driving? Uh, uh, okay. All right. I'll check back by. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he's staring at my lift. He just confirmed that she drives VW. So that's his car in the garage. Let's see if he says anything to them. That's good, though. Because that means that now we know what parks in the garage. So when she's there, she's parked out in front of the house. The motorcycle's gone right now, so my guess is he may have gone somewhere to meet up with her. Maybe grab a bike to eat or something like that. It's a little bit too late in the evening for them to be doing any kind of a doctor checkup. But we'll go run this address for this Xterra. Check the church parking lot as we cruise by, make sure it's not just sitting there. Don't see any silver Jettas. We're also going to want to keep an eye out for it while we're exiting the neighborhood. This is the main road right here that goes out. But, uh, yeah, solid confirmation. Anyways, what my buddy did is he sent a text message to uh, the girl that was in contact with her use the having had a new baby as a method of verifying that we had a good address for her today so send you a, a baby gift what's your address and she texted over to this address that we had spotted the motorcycle at earlier today and so that was a confirmation she was staying there and right there talking to that guy was just the final confirmation of what she's driving so now we just gotta have it all come together catch the vehicle there at the house We'll head over and check this Xterra new address and then uh, hopefully get it hooked. It goes back to our lot. Um, so we'll do that and then we'll head back up here. And it's just a matter of waiting for her to get home with the car. Hopefully he doesn't uh, say, hey, a guy in a repo truck was here looking for you. Because then they'll hide the vehicle. Looks like there's a football game going on there. I'm half tempted to go back and actually cruise through that parking lot and see if... Because these kids are just out of high school. So they're the type that would still have friends that are in high school. So they could go to a high school football game out right up the street from their house. Yeah, the video I have of us uh, repossessing this Xterra the first time we actually got it from her place of employment, the medical facility up in uh, West Valley that's uh, pretty high security. They've got a security tower and stuff and armed guards to get on the premises and we'd actually figured out that there was a back way into their uh, premises that wasn't being guarded. We were able to get in through there and found her vehicle. 
and it's a rear wheel drive and she had it backed into her parking stall so I had to pick it up from the front, drag it out, drop it, go around, pick it up from the rear, get out of there before security could stop us. That was the first time we repossessed it. The second time was a nighttime repossession. Later than the news right now, we still just got the sunlight just barely diminishing over the West Mountains. Got a little bit of light, but for the most part it's dark. But yeah, the second time we got it, it was just uh, right over here, a couple neighborhoods over. From where we've got this new address for her. She moves around a lot, man, like the first time we were trying to repossess her. She was in a garage right there. Locked garage. We spent quite a while trying to get to it. So it looks like those people with the Endeavor are now part back where we originally repossessed her. She must have paid their bill and got it back. I'm not seeing our Xterra. That's somebody right up my ass, so. Let them pull in. That uh, could be my Nissan Xterra. So silver looks like a Pathfinder, actually. Plus, I pulled into the wrong parking stall. We're looking for parking stall K. Uh, looks more like a Pathfinder. But yeah, being that this is the third time she's been up for repo. Assuming this is a good address for her, it's a very real possibility she's not going to just park the vehicle right here. But we will see what is parked in K. Some silver, it's BC, Montero. Similar to her vehicle, but not the same. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go knock on the door. I know what she looks like. I'm gonna go see if I uh, can get some more information about whether she lives here. If this is a roommate that's at home or what. And if she answers the door, then what it's gonna mean is that she's done a vehicle swap with somebody. She knows she's parking outside. She's pretty savvy. Been a couple of years now we've been dealing with her. If that's the case, we'll have to find out who this vehicle is registered to. And then uh, see what address it's registered to and see if they get an even swap. Alright, what well, letters A is he's gonna be up on the third level. Turns out it's on the uh, second level. They did their lettering weird. This is 75 South. K. You don't recognize the name. No. Okay, maybe she was a previous. We've been here like two months. Oh, yeah, it's probably it's, okay. it's probably a previous address. That's <laughs> all right. Thank you. Well, she's already moved from this address. We did talk to a neighbor next door to where we repossessed it last time at night, and he indicated she'd lived would move closer to the Smith Shopping Center, which is right up the street here, and there is a huge apartment complex right behind there, so. First thing I'm gonna do is run her social, 
see if an exact address comes up for her over there. And if not, then I'm probably just going to cruise through the that complex real quick over there because it's all out, outdoor parking. I've got a video of me doing a double header over there on a white bravada and some kind of silver SUV. First things first, we're going to run her social. Let's see if something more current comes up than address This address is reporting till 9 of 2013. That one right there might be the one I'm looking for. I think that's in that apartment complex. It's way up north, the point of the mountain. So that's not going to be it. It's that's her original address. Well, we got a phone number, a different phone number for her coming up too. of old addresses out in West Jordan, which is out where her work is at. But yeah, they're trying to do a repossession. They, they totally redone the parking lot at her place of employment. They've built a parking garage. and They went from high security to like super max security. It's next to impossible to get into that place, especially for a repo. We know that's where she's at during the day. So our best bet's going to be catching her at night. As of right now, this address we're sitting at right here is coming up as the most current. Dang it. Now we're gonna go cruise through that apartment complex right behind the Smiths. Let's see if that guy's info is accurate about what he heard. And then we'll head back over to our uh, VW Jetta. Hopefully get that picked up. We may have to find a way to get through security at her work tomorrow during the day. And uh, if that doesn't work, then we'll have to time it so that it's the end of business there. And we may just sit outside security gates on the main street there and just watch for her to pull out. Do the old school where you just follow her. She may stop for gas on the way home or something. And if she stops anywhere, I'll hook it on site. If I can't, if she doesn't get out of the vehicle or leave the vehicle, option B is to sneak up quietly and get a GPS tracking device on it and then just back away and just track her to wherever she goes. <sighs> It'll make it so interesting. But, I mean, this is the third time we've repossessed her, so we get more and more difficult with each pass. Oh, I can't believe it. Our vehicle is actually here in the driveway.
Got people looking out the window. Hey, how you doing? Is it Who? Or more? Oh, they're downstairs. Okay. Just go. Is it a side entrance? Know. Yeah, I didn't know his name. Just go to the. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it's, there's a stairwell down the basement. Okay, awesome. Thanks. VW for your finance company. I know it's just like a car seat and a bunch of other stuff in there. Yeah, but you might want to get that out before we take off. You did? Yeah. I appreciate you asking. Okay. We're going to have to pay tomorrow. Where are you guys at? Are you taking it to your yard? No, your finance company will actually have it in their possession. In so Springville, so I want to just take care of with them directly, and then yeah, you should be able to leave with the vehicle if you're able to meet whatever terms they need. I don't know. I just got to lose it from here to there. <laughs> but I noticed all the baby stuff in the vehicle, so I figured you probably want to get some of that out.
I can give you a direct line right into collections that usually someone answers. You, uh, yeah, give your phone bar from the next If you call just the main number, it's kind of a hassle to get through. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, she called the pay, and I guess I've she called didn't, like didn't times didn't through. Through. That sucks. I, I, I've heard rumors that they're going to eventually set it up so you can do it on their website like every other bank in the world, but nice. they haven't done it yet. Do that, no, it's cool. And if you got a key, I can keep with it. We'll, you'll get the same one back with it. That way we can keep it all locked up. Do you need any of the other keys off here? No. The Ford key? Nah, you're good. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, do you, uh, um, I'll follow you back down and then give you the number. Yeah, let's do that. That way you guys don't have to go through a bunch of hassle of being put on hold and stuff. Oh. What size is your bike? Get a 600, but <laughs> oh, first time rider? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably smart. <laughs> yeah. I so lost a couple. Well, we used to have a 600, a CBR, and he ended up wrecking it. So, right? uh, yeah, I've lost a few friends on 600s. And anybody that answers, that's directly into their collections department and then just tell them your name and they'll already be aware that they've got it from a report that we'll send them tonight. And then they'll tell you what you got to do to get it back. Cool, All right, have a better night. The guy that was here earlier is gone. His car's not in there. So, looks like they're renting a basement from this place. I figured that was a 250. like that. Oh, that was a hard skip. What had happened is there's actually a Fort Drive and a Fort Lane. Same name street. The other one's right around this corner and goes up and it's a dead-end cul-de-sac. And yeah, I've actually repossessed from that cul-de-sac before and so when the address came over it was originally sent over to us with the lane on the end instead of the drive so we went up there and talked to the people up there at a house that has the exact same numbers they were like we have no idea who you're talking about and I could tell that they weren't lying and so I was like well okay this is not a good address for them anymore today the finance company contacted us after doing some skip tracing and they're like have you tried this address and I'm like yeah and then I thought, wait a minute, it doesn't it end in lane, not drive? And he says, no, it, we show drive. And I mapped it and I saw that it was around the corner and up. Went over there, house with the exact same numbers. And uh, like I said, on his Facebook page, there was a picture of the black motorcycle and there it was sitting right in front of the garage. So I was pretty certain at that point we had a good address. My biggest concern was whether the car was in the garage or not. But she was pulled right there in the driveway, which makes me wonder about the person that 
lives upstairs that probably parks in the garage. I think that would piss him off having that park right in the driveway like that because it was, you know, how does he gain access to his own garage when he comes home? Unless he works a night job. Maybe he works a night job and he's gone all night and she's gone by the time he's there in the morning or something. Weird like that, you know. I work a night job on the weekends where I'm gone 12 hours, so you never know with these things. Uh, we'll get pulled over up here and flip this baby around because it is front wheel drive. And we'll uh, throw tow lights on it and get it transported. Now, we got two of the three we were after tonight. I think tomorrow we'll head up to that medical complex where. Our next air is at and see if we can't find some way to get on the premises, even if it's by foot, get a tracking device on the vehicle, start from there and figure out where she's living. Oh. Work our way right down the list until we get her. Option A, option B, option C. Follow the standard operating procedures once they're a skip. I'm not surprised third time around she's a skip. Not surprised at all. This is a nice little well lit up section of road to do my turnaround on.